Hey, happy to see you again. What's your name, my friend? My name is Elijah. Is your name Sifu? No, Sifu simply means teacher. But my real name, my first name is Sergey. So Sifu Sergey. So ready for the first class? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, so at our very first lesson, I would teach you how to behave in front of the attacker, right? In front of the potential attacker. All right, the first thing you do, you're not supposed to telegraph any type of aggression. In other words, you're not supposed to telegraph that you're about to fight somebody, all right? You have to look peaceful and it'll work good for you in front of the surveillance cameras around you, all right? So the first thing you do, you're not taking no fighting stances, all right? But what you do, you bring both hands up here, all right? And you just stand up like this, all right? And you talk to the person, listen, calm down, calm down. I got you, you know, just leave me alone. I'm scared of you, I don't want to fight you. Right? And if you do see that the bully is making his fist ready to hit you, and since you already have both hands up here, right? Yep, please, please get your fist up, all right? Yep. And if anything comes, like throw the jab, all right? I already have that option, you know, to counter you with, all right? But this, you know, this is something that does require a little bit, a little bit of experience, you know, a little bit of training, all right? Right now, I gotta show you the very natural reflex. The natural reflex Right, when somebody is getting attacked, what people do, they either turn around or, or they bring their hands up, you know, just to just to cover their face. All right. But this is not good for you, all right? Because even if I do have my hands up here and you hit me, yep, please hit me here, all right, it will still go through and I will basically I will hit myself. All right. What I would do here, right, in instead of covering my face like this, all right, I would get into the uh, stance which is called the rhino block. All right, and the rhino block is simply, simply here. I grab my own head, all right, just like that, all right? Just like that, all right? But now there's a little thing. Uh, many schools teach this technique. Many schools do teach this block, all right? And the way they show it is just here, one, all right? And this is obviously wrong because when you do this, all right, your center line is open and you can still get hit. See, Elijah, I bring my hand up here, and if you do hit me, all right, that punch would go straight into my face, all right? There's a little detail in here, right? When I do that rhino block, all right, I got to make a little turn, all right? I got to turn my torso just a little bit, all right? See, Th throw the strike, all right? I turn my torso just a little bit, all right? And that makes it completely safe for me, all right? So just one, all right? Or two. Okay, so it's left hand or right hand. I can also make that rhino block with two hands at the same time. And the way I do it, all right, I grab, all right, for, for the uh, extra layer of a security, all right, when I bring both hands up, all right, I grab my full arm here, all right, which makes it very firm, all right, and strong, all right, right here. Okay, Elijah, please throw the attack. Yep. Boom. All right. And once I bring both elbows up, all right, when I bring both elbows up, all right, I'm not just standing at the same spot. Elijah, please hit me, all right? Because if I do stay at the same spot, you would just go on and you would continue your attack, all right? What I do instead, I turn to be very aggressive towards you, all right? Please, yep, attack, yeah. I turn to be very aggressive and I'm stepping at you, all right? I'm closing that gap, all right, where I can go on and do all my destructions. Mm -hmm. See, please start the attack. Yep, I go in. All right, and now I'm here. All right, and now I'm dominant. All right, one more time. Yep, please throw the attack. Yeah, I step in. All right, and now I'm completely dominant here. Okay, simple. Now there's two, there's several types of the trina block. All right, the number one I showed you is just this one with the left hand or the right hand. It can be with both hands here. All right, I grab my full arm for the extra security. All right, the other type, very common one. When I bring this elbow up, all right, this hand, the other hand can just go here. Okay, see, just go here. Now, Elijah, please put the boxing gloves on. Okay, now let's make a little reality test of this particular block, the Rhino block. All right, I would like Elijah, I would like you to attack a little bit and I would get into my rhino block position right here. Okay, please go attack. All 
okay? <laughs> so what is happening here, right? In the reality, I would never stay at the same spot and I would never wait for you, you know, to deploy all your hand strikes and all your kicks. In the reality, what I would do, as soon as I see you attacking me, yeah, please attack you, yeah, I would step forward and I would go into my own attack. Okay? Okay, so basically we'll be turning the tables right here because when somebody is approaching you to attack you, that person feels like he's a predator and you're a victim. We're turning the tables. I would make you to be my victim and I would become a predator. I get into that line of black position. Elijah, please stop the attack, right? I would close the gap and I would continue with my devastating strikes here. All right? One more time attack. Yep, I go in and I continue. All right, let's turn around. Move a little bit. Yep. All right. Attack. Yep. I go in. Ah. All right. Sorry about that. Wow. Okay. I did do some of the fancy things in here. And uh, that will be explained in our next video. So please stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button down below. See you next time. Peace.